For PC enthusiasts especially, nothing beats installing the latest games, turning the graphics settings right up and seeing just how good things can look. Most recently, Nvidia introduced ray tracing to the gaming world, and we've been begging for more games to feature the new tech ever since. So if you're in the market for a new 3XS gaming PC or just looking to upgrade an existing system, then there's some news you should definitely be aware of. Microsoft has just launched DirectX 12 Ultimate, or DX12 Ultimate as it's also known. DirectX is the base on which most games run from, so it dictates what graphical features are available and how they're implemented into your games. In this video, we're going to take a look at what the new features of DirectX 12 Ultimate are and also what specs you need to run them. This time around, DirectX 12 Ultimate is actually more important for PC gamers than ever before, as for the first time, the next console generation will be launching with full support, starting with the Xbox Series X. That's important as in the past, console games always ran on the previous version of DirectX, meaning that from a development perspective, games ported over to the PC suffered from not being as good as they could be, unless the developer put in a lot of extra effort. This time around though, we'll see all new games developed on the same DirectX Ultimate platform with the same features. Naturally, the PC is going to offer far more performance than consoles, so we should be in a position to really push the graphical boundaries and have better looking games than ever before. So, first up, let's take a look at the features of DirectX 12 Ultimate. These include DirectX ray tracing, mesh shading, variable rate shading, and sampler feedback. This is great news because now developers can bring these into more games, and you'll reap the benefits in performance boosts and more beautiful game worlds. Now, at the heart of DirectX 12 Ultimate is ray tracing, which most of you will know about, but in a nutshell, ray tracing mirrors how light actually behaves in reality, giving improved shadows and reflections that look like they would in real life, making the whole scene more immersive and realistic with accurate global illumination. Ray tracing is the biggest leap in graphical fidelity since 2002, and now it's included in DirectX 12 Ultimate as well as all major game engines, so you can finally expect to see ray tracing in more and more games. Another NVIDIA technology that will make games more beautiful is mesh shading. This is a program model for geometry. It gives developers the ability to create highly detailed worlds whilst not overloading your CPU, which can bottleneck your graphics card. NVIDIA's Asteroids demo shows this off beautifully as mesh shaders dynamically adjust the level of detail of countless individual asteroids, which would have otherwise taken a bigger toll on performance. This allows the GPU to reduce its workload from trillions of triangles down to the few million triangles necessary to draw the scene in real time, while still maintaining a visually rich asteroid field sprawling out before your ship. DX12 Ultimate will also implement the performance boosting technology called Variable Rate Shading. VRS allows the developer to control the amount of detail, shading more detail in parts of the scene that will benefit from it and less in parts that don't, giving developers more control over both quality and performance. For example, a fast-moving object in a scene doesn't need every pixel to be rendered every frame, as it's moving so quickly you can't perceive all the detail anyway. So pixels in areas that don't frequently change can also be rendered less often, using the GPU's workload and upping performance. In Wolfenstein Youngblood, variable rate shading was the basis for NVIDIA adaptive shading on Vulcan, which boosted performance up to 15% while still keeping dystopian-occupied Paris looking just as good. Now developers can bring this tech to DirectX games as well. VRS also underpins foveated rendering, which can be used for virtual reality games to render fewer pixels in the periphery of your vision, helping reach higher VR frame rates. And finally, there's sampler feedback. Like VRS, this feature works smarter to reduce your GPU load and improve performance. It allows for more efficiently shading objects that don't change from frame to frame, and then reusing the object's colors as calculated in the previous frames. That means your GPU's horsepower can be used for pumping out more frames instead of unnecessary busy work. Sampler feedback also improves texture streaming. Now developers can more intelligently stream high-resolution textures into their large open worlds to avoid stuttering and popping. That translates to more immersive worlds to lose yourself in. It's exciting to see the features that Nvidia pioneered with Turing coming to the DirectX 12 Ultimate API so that developers everywhere can start using them. So now you know what features will be coming to games in the near future, what do you need to be able to use them? 
Well, the main thing you're going to need is a graphics card that can support all of the DirectX 12 Ultimate features. That means any of Nvidia's current GeForce RTX series cards from the 2060 right through to the 2080 Ti. So if you're looking to upgrade from console to PC, then the good news is that any of our 3XS gaming PCs featuring RTX series graphics cards are ready to go and have the dedicated hardware to run the latest ray tracing titles right now. We've linked them in the description. So what's your thoughts on DirectX 12 Ultimate? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe.